All right, so the reason you call me because your pump was uh, kicking on and off and your pressure was low and different things like that. And uh, first thing I noticed when I got here that the tank was completely waterlogged. I mean, it's like a ton of bricks. Can't move it. There's literally no air in it. Um, it's a deep well pump with a micronizer and it's not aerating at all at any setting. So I'm just deferring it as a defective part. Um, and then I'm, what I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to go outside and open a faucet and show you what it does in real time on both ends. Okay, I'm going to open this faucet and we'll see what the pump's doing. That's a waterlogged tank. Waterlogged tank. Now, we run more water. Pump's going to keep running. Just because we got as much water coming out of this faucet as we do with the pump from the liver. But, as soon as we turn the faucet off, the pump shuts off. Alright, so there's a a good example of a completely waterlogged tank that's going to burn your pump up. And as you notice, the bearings are squealing pretty good. Not extremely yet, but it's getting there. Using the air compressor to drain the tank down um, since it was completely waterlogged, the uh, air has just now reached the inlet at the top. There's all the air coming out of the tank. It's empty. You can see it there. And there's the nozzle. It's clogged with plastic. Alright, so now that's all fixed, we got the uh, aerator working. Let me actually adjust it a little bit here. Put it on 45 degrees. I'm gonna go outside and run the pump. And see how long it takes to come on. Okay, open the faucet here. I'm gonna open it all the way. See how long it takes that pump. Now that's starting out with a little air charge. Sounds bad, but it's working. Don't make crap in your backyard. All right. So that was at least shoot a good minute. I wasn't timing it. And that's it. That's how your well should be working.